That's going on the trike. Yeah. <laughs> Got my friend Larry coming by. He's outside the window right now. I'm gonna surprise him with my idea. And I've already started in on it on a future video, that, or a previous video. He's a uh, machinist slash engineer, CAD guy, works in a machine shop, and he's gonna help me adapt a certain something, but I wanna get his reaction on my idea. He's a uh, custom motorcycle builder, fabricator, welder, connoisseur, and he's here right now with coffees. You're on camera, it's live. To YouTube, no, I'm kidding. It's right. not live. Thank you. Look how handsome he looks today. Lovely. He's got his hair pulled back. Hello, world. Hello, world. Hands so I wanted to get. Thank you. Rough ride over here. No, kick one. Um, so I wanted to get your reaction, your first reaction on what I'm building. Where are you going? Oh, I thought you were busy. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm filming this, this docu. I'm documenting this whole build. That's why. Is it okay if I film you? I have no problem with that. I forgot to tell you. Oh. Surprise! You're gonna edit this? You're gonna be famous. Yes. Yeah, you okay. set it right up here. Okay. So this is my this is my desk, the uh, Targa desk. Nice! So, uh, I wanna surprise you, so let's come over here. I wanna see your reaction to this. I like the trash. What's ah, that? see? Volkswagen? Is that going on the Volkswagen? Y yeah! Nice. nice! Yeah, huh? You Are you excited me. now? Now you got me pumped. What is it you asked on the phone? Does this vehicle have what? I thought you said it had wheels, bigger one. Oh. Oh yeah. So that's why you're cutting it. Oh, it's you bad. Didn't tell me that. No, no, no. That's not going on that. Oh, that's not going. Oh. No. That's going on the trike. Oh, that's going on the trike. Oh, with the ski. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm still pumped. Oh, you should be more pumped because it's oh, up so your alley. This is, this is a yes. Trick. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yes. There's only two that need. To yes. Oh yeah, this would be. Say it, badass. Well, I was gonna use other. Say it. Fucking gnarly. <laughs> what was that? Fucking gnarly. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and did you ask something oh, if it had? Wow, when did, did you come up with this crazy thing? I don't know. My sleep. I don't. Yeah, I know, right? It's gonna be great, huh? You gonna make a custom front ski? I have a snowmobile ski. How wide though? I know, I might put two together. Cut it down the middle and weld them together. And use the springer. And use the springer fork. The sugar bear! Huh? But you have to mount it in such a fashion that you don't destroy the. So in case Ex you want to convert exactly. it back Exactly. I, I will convert it back because I want to ride so, it in the so summer. So that's a concept. Play in the summer, play in the winter. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all season, <laughs> all season trike. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I knew you'd love it. Yeah, that, that's definitely feasible. Yeah. So I don't know if you want to try to come up with something for the fork as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm sure I could fab something, just weld something together, a bracket. But if you got a better idea. I'm thinking because of the weight of the vehicle. Yeah. You know, you're probably going to need a, a wide. The front end's really light, but obviously, and that, the thing is if Why I could. As you're putting the power. Right, that's what, yeah. Exactly. Well, it's going to want to lift up. Yeah, I know. Look at it. I love it. Just look, look, look at the face. He's, he's, it's, this is the I'm just thinking. About thinking. Do we have Clarence? In the oh, yeah. I, I, whoop, sorry. I put it, I mocked it up. We can mock it up again. No, if you say so. Oh, yeah, this is cakewalk. We're going about this differently now. Difference good. Cake cake is good. Walking is I've heard is good for you. So is this the exit? That's where you go in with the For the hardware? Yeah, so that that's that's where you um, the bolts go through this way wow. and then it needs to mount on the back side of here. This well, is what we want to do. This is, is 108 here. And I think this one I measured it, but we probably you have probably better calipers. Oh, yeah, I kind of 155 by 4, but it might be, yeah. Oh, what we got to do is see what the, the, the uh, 
break drum is? That's 130. Four by 130. The other thing I need to know is, so that break drum has the threads? Yes. So we're going to be using? Volkswagen lug bolts. Okay, let me, let me see one of them. Okay, hold on one second. I assume this is uh, all Volkswagen. Yeah. Therefore, it's metric. Yep. It's like about 130. That's just a Beetle rear end. Yeah. Yeah. 17170 Two, five, six, two. Hold the hole. Remember that in Santa. Now that. So yeah, either one. You want to hit either the one of the holes? You want to hit the outside ones? Yeah, the outside ones, don't you think? Would be better? Absolutely. So now I miss. I just think, because it's going to be... Because it's going to sit flush. Measure be stronger. That. Is that center to center? No, 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 no. Where I have space in here, I'll measure the outside. Right. Measure the hole. Right. Subtract the diam, subtract the hole from that, and that gives me center to center. Oh, there you go. Yeah. One edge of the hole, yeah. the opposing edge of the yeah. hole, and kind of eyeball it. Yeah. And then uh, math will tell you the closest number. So you still want to ride on the back of this thing? Oh, I'm driving, motherfucker. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, I'll go on the back of it. I'll let you drive it. <laughs> I'll definitely go on the back of it. <laughs> I'll be hooting and a hollering. <laughs> So we'll use the center of the hole as a datum reference. Mm -hmm. That will be zero. Of course, on the machine, I just have to tell it the bolt pattern, so I don't have to do any trig work right now. This one's simple, because it's right on a straight line, so it's just up and over that same number. Yep. That number divided by two at 45 degrees. So like Gives I, you a bolt pattern. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, now, how, how wide do we need? We also need to have a hole down the middle for this hub, and where this thing flanges way out, I think we should probably go in with something like material. Material. What do you want to use? Aluminum. Use aluminum. Aluminums. Okay. Yeah, I think aluminum would be the best. Great. Sixty sixty one. Sixty sixty one. Uh, I'm gonna take a body off today. I want to work on some stuff underneath here. We got to do a fuel tank. Uh, hold on one second, I'll show you. I got a brand new fuel tank for it. Uh, custom made stainless steel, came with it. The guy's buddy, I guess, made it for him. So we're gonna install that. Uh, gonna install this universal throttle cable. Uh, Cause what was on here just wasn't working, as you'll see. But we'll install that. But like I said, I wanna get the back part of this off. I do have the front wheel off right now. Anyways, the plans I have for this Let's just say where we're going with this. We don't need roads. I'm gonna start working on getting this off. It's gonna be a lot easier to change out that gas tank and maybe even get a battery in there. That battery is shoved up underneath there. So it's a gas tank. So. so it's these two, this piece here and that there. See that bolt way over there? Right over there. Camera won't focus on it. Right there, there's one on the other side too over here. So we'll get those undone and and we'll get the body off. So let's uh, get you set up and, you know, that. Like that. This is high tech stuff right here. Just lift the body up a little bit. Oh, see those are half, that, that's half, what is happening? A lot of two different sizes on here. Look at that. Oh, do you see the body move? Just drop down. Not my body. Come on, guys. Yeah, see? There's not much holding that on there now. I feel like there's something holding that right here. There, see that? Right up under there. That is a junction for all the wires. There's a plug right there. I think that probably goes to headlights, maybe. I can unplug that. I don't know what else is in there, but I'm gonna zip tie that and see if I can just 
tag some things. I don't want to cut anything, but I mean, if I have to, I will. I think it's easier than undoing it off the whole body. Not what I thought was going to be there. This is for the rear. Oh, it is. It does, you can disconnect it. The only one. Oh, wait, look. Done. Look at this. Done. And done. And we're, we're completely disconnected, kids. Look at that, huh? Someone was thinking. Someone was thinking when they did this. I don't believe it. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I mean, this isn't the exact right way to do it. It's trailer wiring, but it works. And this is, this is, this is house watering. I'm gonna try to pick this up. I know this side isn't happy because this side is not right up. neck on that. Yeah, we're gonna have to get it off down here. Get a big pry bar. Just scoot it off that. Oh. It's done, guys! Hey, you can't take a body off without knocking off over a few chairs, right? Look at that! Check that dirty mess out. So glad that they decided to do that with the wiring. Here's our shifting setup. Kind of funky. How they made that. There's our fuel tank. Clutch has been shortened and bent over and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fun. So here's our throttle cable. So we gotta run that through there, up into there, and have it come out. We might be able to use that cable over again. There's nothing wrong with the cable. It was the handle that was all screwed up. So maybe we can reuse the cable. Man, that tank stinks. You guys smell that? Woo! Let's get that tank out. So it's got the two tabs over here, one there, one there. And then I think one back on this side. Yeah, you can see the, you can see the nut right there. See it? It's completely out of focus. Right there, the shiny nut. All right, get this tank out of here. There's one. They didn't even spray paint them black. Oh, dang. Woo! Stinky tank. Oh, there we go. It wasn't even, there was no nut on it. So that was, that was pretty simple. Yeah, I got that one. Yeah, it's, it's in there. Let's uh, get a hammer. So the shock has to come off in order to get, well, that's funny, the tank out. Well, let's remove the shock then. How shocking. <laughs> I couldn't resist. You know, I'm not surprised. Yeah, it's not coming out of there with the shock in there. Let me show you what we're dealing with here. See that? That's, that's a problem. Yeah, that's not coming out of there. So I'm gonna remove that shock. And, so I got the tank out, that shock had to come out, and uh, I don't think this shock is gonna do much shocking. I mean, pretty slow rebound. You guys got an hour? Yeah, I don't either. All right, safety first. Brand new safety glasses. Woo, the Nerd 2000s. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these tabs off of this piece of galvan here, and uh, we're gonna weld them on here. I don't wanna cut them off of there because that has old fuel in it. Even though it's probably not flammable, I don't wanna take the risk, so. So make sure before you weld Galvi, you clean it off. So we're gonna get these about the same spot. This is taller than this one, obviously. And it's the same width, but it's just a tiny bit taller. Looks like about an inch tall. You got inch and a quarter taller. Well, that's close enough, right? So I'm gonna put them in the same spot because these, I don't wanna take that out. 
I want this kind of the same height range, which is the tube that comes off the body. Alright, let's get this in the tab, made another tab, just like that one. I'm gonna go right here. Get it all marked up. We need to get it welded on. So what I want to do is I want to clean up this body, get the battery out of it. Before I put the tank back in there, I might want to paint it up a little bit black. I'm not totally sure yet, but I just want to get all this grease and grime and dust, all that jazz off there. So I got my little degreaser elixir. Can't tell anybody, it's top secret. So I'm just gonna go over this with the elixir here. Hopefully clean this thing up real nice.
All right. Well, that power washing was fun. Uh, I'm wet in places I shouldn't be right now, uh, especially with the weather we have outside. Uh, my crotch will probably freeze when I go outside. So yeah, here we go. It cleaned up pretty nicely. It's uh, it's wet right now, so it looks all shiny and nice. Uh, the engine came out real nice, I think. There was a lot of grime on this engine, especially down in these areas around the valve covers. The tranny had a lot of schmutz on it. Someone painted that at one point. That engine's much cleaner. I still want to paint it. I still want to powder coat it. But you can see the aluminum cleaned up, all the grease is off of there, got into where all the crevices all over here. That's gonna help keep it cooler. I don't know if you can see it now. I think the I think the water blew it out of there. Uh, I can see a little bit in there. There's some insulation in there. Someone built a mouse home, so it's eviction notice time. Eviction notice, you're getting it right now. So we'll come back to this tomorrow and clean that up even more. Put the gas tank back in it, which is over here, and that's all welded up. All the tabs are on there, ready to go in. So the last time I left off on the uh, the trike here was the fuel tank we had welded the tabs on. So now I'm gonna install it. So let's get to doing that. We got all the hardware out here, and uh, I'm gonna put this fancy tag in here, and we'll plumb her up. If it will fit. If I, if I did this right, oh, it should fit. I think. That, that tab doesn't line up at all. How did that happen? I, I swear I, I lined everything up. We'll, we'll make it fit. I hope I didn't put the tabs on the wrong side. Where does that need to go? Doesn't that go up? Ah. Uh, that would suck. Chet, are you laughing? My cameraman's laughing. Because he knows it's something I would do. Is that why you're laughing? She had a third like arm and hand that came up off the back of my neck, and just kind of you could just use it to hold stuff and like reach around, like the great hair. Be like, hey, hold that. Like hold a light or hand your screwdriver. Pretty fantastic. So close. So close yet so far away. It's so close. Like, I swear I put these in the exact same spot that they were in. I swear. Why is that going that way? This isn't right. I swear these aren't long enough. All right, as you can see, guys, I got the tank in there. I went over to the tractor supply, which they don't have any tractor supplies, but they do have nuts and bolts. And uh, I got a little bigger one here for this area and some longer bolts, which helped hold that in. The tab, for some reason, this tank was narrower and a little shorter. So you can see the tab. I put it in the same spot as the old tank, but it just doesn't, doesn't line up. So we're going to have to redo that tab. I mean, temporarily, you might do a little zip tie. But again, now I, uh, and then after that, I ran the fuel line. Ran the fuel line up and over. We're gonna have to zip tie this, get it over there and into the fuel pump. I don't know if this fuel pump works. Uh, <laughs> I haven't put fuel through it yet. That carburetor is pretty nasty. I'll probably take that off, do a quick rebuild on it. Just pull it apart and clean it. Uh, and I do have a rebuild kit here, so I might as well do it. And I'll show you guys that. That's. Uh, these VW carburetors are pretty simple. So we'll get into that probably next and pull that off. Because it does it does start, as you saw from the first video. If you guys didn't see the first video, I'll put a link to it. Uh, I'll put this in a, a, in a series so you guys will uh, be able to check that out. But I'll put a link to it up in the, uh, the, the description here. Uh, maybe up in the top of the corner somewhere. I, th I think it comes up over here. I'm not sure. So we'll get going on the carb. Clean that up, and then we'll see if that fuel pump works. We'll put fuel in the tank. That's exciting, the new stainless tank. And then we'll get to the big surprise. Just hiding over there. See it? It's poking its head around the corner saying, hey, pick me, pick me. All right, let's do that.
that car boss. I forgot to mention, I did replace the fuel line on the engine because it was a little, it's a bit dry. So, no good. All right, I got this disgusting carb off here. It's pretty filthy. Uh, it looks like it was maybe in a sawdust farm. Uh, it had three gaskets on it. Uh, this could possibly be causing a vacuum leak. And they're pretty crispy. And if they're stacked, sometimes they'll get a little vacuum leak in there. And then there's this metal one that somebody made. I don't know if it's a riser or I don't know really know why that would be in there. We'll have to look into that, but we'll set those aside. I'm going to break into this and see. It won't idle. It will start, but then it dies. So I'm guessing maybe idle jet or just, it's just obviously this thing's disgusting. So we'll get into this. So I'm going to get some gloves because I'm going to be using some carb cleaner. Uh, just want to, uh, Jimmy Stancil mentioned that to me in the last uh, video that I should probably put some gloves on. So I'm going to go do that. Just for you, buddy. Let's uh, get to the surgery. Let's see what we got in here. It's weird spring set up. That's going to go flying. You guys see okay? All right. This uh, engine that's on this is a 1500 single port, obviously. They didn't have 1500 dual ports. They did have 1600 single ports. Whew, smell some raunchy fuel. You guys smell that? I don't know, is the smell vision working this time? I turned it on on the camera. A couple complaints about that, sorry guys. Hopefully that works this time. Not that you really want to smell this, but. I don't know why there's so much sawdust on this thing. Ooh, there we go. It's actually really clean in the flow bowl. Okay, take that back. That's not too bad. There's fuel in there. You guys see that? It's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. This is just gucky. A needle and seat's good. That's not sticking. I'm gonna check that. It's where the fuel comes in. As the float bowl floats up, shuts that off. Doesn't allow any more fuel to come in. Flood the carburetor and flood the engine. So we'll just get that sentiment out of there. Actually, you know what? Let's put it on a paper towel. Let's see what's in there. Yeah, it's a little yucky. Oh, you know what we need? You know what we need. You guys know what we need. Oh yeah. We need the Nerd 2000s. Yes sir. Woo woo. You guys want to try them on? Oh, what do you think? You like them? Say we take some stuff apart here. Just clean out the orifices. It's actually really, this is really super clean actually. That seems to be working. Take out the little, the little faucet. Clean that out. Well, this really needs much of a rebuild. That's the one thing I'm wondering. I wonder how the uh, injection pump is. Here's your idle jet. Get that out of there. That's clear. That's a good thing. We'll just... Woo! Love that. All right, let's just take this out. This might be the culprit, too. This is what you get your squirt out of. That's gonna send fuel down in there. This is, this is bad, this. Why do they put that in there, right? See that? They put that behind there. Can't get at the screw. We'll solve that problem pretty quick here. There we go. Now we can get at it. Yeah, she's a little crispy. Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't really want it crunchy. It's all right. It's not split. We'll put a new one in. Maybe we'll get one. Be right back. All right, I went over to my stash. I was able to find a new diaphragm. See how this one's nice and pliable? <laughs> this one's like clunk, clunk, clunk. That's not going to give you consistent squirt. 
We'll clean this out while we have it. Well, we'll clean it with gasoline. I guess we could, but oh, here we go. Sometimes it's right in front of you. There are 2,000 engaged. Yep. That's pretty clean in there. So I'm going to put this back in the spring. Don't forget your spring. Piece goes up inside there. Just put that back down on there. Make sure you line up here. I don't know if that's there because of clearance issues with something. I don't see why that metal would be in there. Why would you need that? No clearance issue. I don't I don't really know what's going on with that, why that's like that. This wiring is sketchy. It's like a house wiring in it. <laughs> Not supposed to use that. We'll leave it there for now, but got a wrench, tighten that up. See how she runs now. Fill the float bowl and see what happens. Yeah, see okay? Fill this float bowl up through the vent. That's pretty full. Leaking somewhere. Leaking out of the carb a little bit. Let's see if she starts. Jump off. Probably need a little choke action. Huh. Well, that's weird. Should be enough. Got power going to it. is about on its way out. The power going to the coil. Let's see if this thing's sparking. Yeah, we're we're smoking the uh, the starter here. Ignition on. We got red. Whoa. Let's 
starters on its way out. I feel like the uh, timing's a little off. It's backfiring through the carburetor. Let's loosen up this distributor, which is already loose. Let's see if we can get her to. There we go. Might just be a little off. Yeah, this starter is going. Yeah, that starter's cooked. I got a starter down here. At least it's easy to get to. I guess I'll have to change the starter out real quick. All right, this is some entertaining stuff. So, two starters, junk. And so, I found a brand new one in my stash. And that one works great. But the battery's dead. And my junk box is dead. Musty one, I know, he's gonna give me a hard time. I thought it was charged, but it wasn't. So I gotta charge the battery. Should, uh... So, I'm gonna work on the other stuff. I'm gonna put these tracks on this trike. This is what everyone's been waiting for. These are going on the back of the trike. Some fabrication has to be done. We did already do some fabrication. This is the fun part. I had these made. A customer of mine, a friend of mine up the road, he did two phases of these. I do have a video of them being made and the CNC and the lathe. Uh, what we originally tried to do this, it didn't work. So then we got these inserts, milled those out a little bit there. So now we have studs. They go through, uh, originally these were threaded and they were pulling as soon as I went to tighten it up. As soon as I went to tighten the track up. So we had to put studs in. So these are all custom made for this. It's to adapt it to the track. So we're gonna get these put on. I had to buy all these. You can't just buy, you can't buy four or five or whatever. You gotta buy a whole box of 24 or whatever they came in. So I got extras of these if anybody needs any. <laughs> and extras of these. <laughs> and uh, extras of these. <laughs> oh. I'll keep them around the shop. I'm sure I'll be able to use them. But let's uh, let's get one of these bolted up. See how it fits. Maybe we'll work on the other side since the battery charge is charging. Oh, and also, yeah, here we go. Other thing. We got to get this ski to adapt to the Sugar Bear fork. I've got some ideas. It is plastic. I should hold up. It's got a metal mount. This is all metal here. Bolt goes through here. I think I'm going to put a spacer and another spacer on each side. It should work. I may have to put a shock in here somewhere. I'm not sure. It's uh, kind of a prototype. Let's get the track on it. And uh, we'll get back to getting it running because we can't get it started because of the battery. And the starter problem over here, which we took care of, but now the battery needs to charge. So we're going to do it. It's going on there. We're going to have to do a little fabricating here to get this to... This was on a four-wheeler. Uh, it was custom made for a four-wheeler or something. So I'm gonna see if I can bolt it, I don't know if you can see in here, if I can bolt it here on the lower part of this. These holes line up, believe it or not, which is kind of crazy, uh, but this is too long. So I'll have to shorten it, probably re-weld it. But uh, this, these studs go on the outside here, on these outside. Those studs go through, we gotta spin that, and that's gonna hold this on a lot better than having them thread it in. Cause every time I went to thread them in, they would just strip out, so, and this is aluminum. These fit perfect. It's like the guy knew what he was doing. Now I gotta find out what size this is. It's pretty big. There we go, we got it. My new ratchet, I haven't used it yet. Normally I'd really clean that up, but. Just that. like those guys know what they're doing. There we go. Probably could use my gun. All right, no rubbish. All right, we'll get these off. These have nylon locks in them too. All right, roll her over there, jack ready. We're gonna have to jack this up. We get this out of the way.
one there. It's kind of hard because you can't really turn these tracks. They don't turn very well. Oh, we got one end. Where it is. How far off it is. Oh, oh, good thing right there. I need to get a socket in there. Oh, this is going to work so much better. I know you guys can't see this, but it's kind of tricky. Oh, man down. Get plenty of those. Get that in there. Oh, we got one on. Let's see if we can get this other one on there. Yep. That's on there pretty good. Now we just gotta rotate this. Oh, I think we almost got it. We need to go back. No, nope. forward, forward, right there. No oh, shit. Look at that. Good stuff. Yes, sir. Where'd that other one go? We lost it. Oh, we got some washers. Oh, we got all sorts of goodies stuck in the track. Leaves, nuts and bolts. A bolt instead of the nut we needed. Yeah, that would have broken something. Oh, this is exciting. That's officially on there. Oh yeah. She's not coming off. That's awesome. Yes. Now we gotta do the other side. Rinse and repeat. Let's just see what she looks like sitting on the ground. Oh yeah. Look at this beast. What's that look like? What do you guys think? Is that crazy or what? This is gonna be a mean machine. Ski. So now we gotta get, to figure out how we're gonna get this mounted to here so this doesn't go whoop -ah. <laughs> We'll figure something out for this. But they will flip. All right, let's get the other one on. These work great. Got them off an 85's IROC. Kidding, but they might have been on one of them. Not these. That was a crusty one. I didn't think that was. There we go. We're human. Right. Yeah. Come down a little bit, actually. Probably need to be straight in on this bad, bad Larry here. That side went on way easier, and this hit it in the right spot. Finally got it. What it was, <laughs> I forgot. This way they're a different length than they are this way. So I had them lined up where they were wider in one direction. That's why I couldn't get it on. I just got lucky on that side, I didn't even think about it. But yeah, they're, they're, they're closer together this way. So you get two here and two here. I had them this way long ways, so they wouldn't, wouldn't line up. Like, why won't this go on? So. Oh well, worked up a sweat getting that on there. I felt good. Yes, that's a good noise. Yes. Ooh, almost there. Yeah, see. <laughs> no, that's totally from the 90s. I grew up. There, they did not, not, nylon lock nuts too, so exciting. She's on all threes. Three points of contact. Look at that beauty. Look at that. That, wait, we gotta zoom you out. Hold on, ready? Oh. Look at that, that thing is mean. Mean. Love it. Let's hope it works, right? All this works and it doesn't work? That'd be a bummer. <laughs> it breaks immediately. Oops. All right, I gotta figure out how to make this ski work. I think I thought it through. So these are the bolts that went through here to hold it on the snowmobile. Now, all right, so this is gonna go through the axle of the bike. Now, I don't know gonna need a spacer here so I mean this is enough for it to move around for the ski to float if it needs to I might put a little shock in here like a damp like a dampener a damper dampener damper damper it's damper yeah that's right let's figure out what the space is we'll go over to the we gotta get the trike up in the air we'll get the front end up in the air shouldn't be too hard uh, and we'll just kind of mock this up so let's go do that we got this up in the air get this back out. 
Hammer time. Tight fit. Must know what I'm doing, right? Go. All right. So what I'm thinking is this. And we're going to go through here, through here, sort of. So what I'm saying is, it's a little wobbly. So we're gonna need a spacer in here. The ski probably isn't enough volume here for the weight, but we're not gonna take it in deep snow, so I'm okay with that. It might dig in a little bit, but I think we can throttle it and give it enough juice to pick up the front end. This thing wheelies like you wouldn't believe. Um, now I'm thinking I gotta make this higher. Let's set it down and see where it sits. Almost seems like it needs to go that way, doesn't it? Pretty far out in front. Think, think, think. I may have to move it back a click. Drill some holes here. Move this back that way. All right, I think I, I, think I figured something out here. I'm gonna try to take this bolt out. Hopefully it'll let me. that come out? That's the question. There we go. All right. I don't think this is going to fit through there. It'd be great if it was the right thread, wouldn't it? That would be incredible. You know what? It might be. We can get that thread in. And it threads in. What in tarnation? What is the chances of that, kids? Wow, I got lucky there. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Yes. Thread her on. All right, so now that's through. There we go. That up in there, we just need to probably Couple little bigger nut nuts in there just to kind of space them out. This is just kind of a prototype for now, just so we can use it, and then maybe I'll make a bracket system. I just want to see how it works. We got to figure this all out. You know, we got a lot to do back there still. I got to fabricate those brackets to keep it from spinning and make them rigid. Get this on there. Might make some noise, but look at that. We have a ski. And it turns. Oh, that's gonna work fine. It's gonna be great. And it pivots. Yeah. We should be good. Let's see where this charger's at. 13-2. I think we're good. Let's see what we got. That's a good starter. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this set up over here. We're gonna get this thing running, see if we can get it to idle. It's not idling. I still do need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the brackets back here. Let me show you. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. So I need to figure these out. This is like, this is, I think what I'll do is I'll use, I'll use that hole and drill another one here and use these bolts through. If I need longer ones, I'll get longer ones. 
I don't think I will, but I have longer ones here if I need them. So that's what we'll do. What that's going to do is to keep the track from going flipping around and also flipping back this way. Uh, and we don't want it hitting anything because it could, it could hit here. Not sure. Look at the ground clearance on this thing. This is gnarly. Love, look at this. Man, this thing's got like 14 inches of ground clearance. This thing's nuts. I don't know if you guys get the full, full effect of this thing, how wide it is. <laughs> Freaking awesome. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Now, we gotta put these pieces on. I showed them you earlier. This is gonna keep the track from flipping forward or flipping back as you accelerate or decelerate. And if you don't have these stabilizers on there, it will spin around. <laughs> it will just keep spinning. Uh, and we don't want that. So, and the brakes are, they don't work. We don't need brakes where we're going. But what I need to do is I pulled the bolts to hold the cap on. This is a torsion tube, if you guys don't know the Volkswagens. Um, so there's a torsion bar in here. If you were to get to that, you access that through here, through this plate. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this piece here I'm gonna drill some holes in this and bolt it up to that because it reaches pretty much perfectly. We just need to get some holes in this to bolt that through. We'll drill them a little bigger. I'm not gonna go crazy and mark this and measure it. Measuring is silly, right? So, we can stop away. Let's try that again. <laughs> There's like one scratch on it. And try again. I think we got it. So now, we gotta drill that out. Let's drill it out. Wait. We need to engage the Nerd 2000. Pretty good. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. There's one. Yeah. Perfect. Cross thread is a thread, I believe. It's a uh, redneck Loctite. Yeah, that feels good. Right. So, what do you guys think is gonna break on this first? No, not me. I'm not gonna break. on to the other side. Yeah. We gotta take some of this off because it's gonna it's gonna hit the body. So the other side.
dangerous to do it that way, but <laughs> good way to shatter a blade. All right, I think that's going to clear now that we got pieces and parts and metal shaving and yeah. Uh, we got my little helper here, all red and ready to go. We're going to fill this with fuel, turn the ignition to on, and let's see what happens. sounds. Ah, oh, this thing's going to be so much fun. Can't wait. Hope all the snow doesn't melt tonight. 60 degrees outside. We had about a foot about a week ago and I was really trying to get this done. Woo! All right, so I know I gotta take one last thing before we actually start putting this thing back together and putting fuel in the tank. There's a mouse nest in here. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. This little insulation fuzz. I'm gonna pop the fan shroud off and get that out of there because this is gonna overheat if I don't take that out or cause a fire. Fire is cool, but not when we want to drive this badass machine. Right, Kev? That's correct. Woo woo! I'll get that removed and show you what's inside. All right, I got everything disconnected. And I'm gonna pull this fan shroud off. You just have to take a couple, couple of wires, the belt, and the disconnect the coil. Who the wires, the plug wires, up and over? I've never seen anybody do that before. All right. Oh, yum yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, that would have been bad. Lunch time. Right around, right around the oil cooler, too. Perfect. Oh, now yeah, there's more of it. Yeah, oh yeah, she's tucked in there nice. Mm, yum, smell that. Yeah, stinky. Get the other side here. Stuff out of the way. Yeah, packed in there pretty good. This is the this is like the bathroom, and this is the home, the house, the condo. But eviction time. Yeah, I'll have to blow that out with air. No air can get down through the cylinder. Yeah, she would have gotten real hot. So let's make a mess in here. All right, I got a different couple different grabbers here. Let's see if we can dissect here. I'm not doing this because I don't want to touch it. As you can see before, I'm doing it because I can't reach. Insulation, nice. Keep the engine nice and warm. <laughs> All right, let's get some air in here. All right, ready to go. Mask on, Nerd 2000s, ready to go.
got to break up the uh, the petrified urine. So this is the mess that came out of there. That's, I just swept this. So this is all the crud that came out of there. Yeah, that's no good. Glad we did that, it's a good thing. Nice and clean now. You can see down between the jugs. Look at that, clean jugs. You don't want dirty jugs. We'll get that back together. Put the fan shroud, fan shroud's all clean. Except for the little fuzz right there. Yuck. Make sure I wash my body before I go home. And we'll sweep up this mess and maybe take it for a ride. Put some gas in it, see if that fuel pump's working. Let me know what you guys think of this. Comment below. I love it. Kev, do you like it? I like it, yes. You just, you just like it? Well, I wanna drive it too, you know. I'll Who said you could drive it? Well, that's why I only like it, because I'd love it if I could drive it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put her back together. All right, so I was just kind of just looking at everything here. I got a new grip for this. We I put that fancy one on there. And uh, this old one was too big. It didn't fit. And, well, pull it back here. And, well, looks like got some uh, aluminum. Maybe some flashing for your house. And look look at this. Just so it would fit. Because this thing keeps going and it's like no <laughs> Just keep all. going and going and going. So that was uh, to resolve the problem of it not fitting, other than actually getting the correct size that actually fits on, which is this one. Thank you, sir. Anybody guess whose hand that was? The lovely assistant. My lovely assistant. I can only see his kneecaps. That fits a little better. That's still a little loose, huh? That's supposed to be a little. Yeah. Brum, brum. All right, just had to show you that. It's quite funny. We'll leave this on here as a backup. Oh, and then this, this is great. <laughs> we got uh, one, two, three, four, four nails, two zip ties, electrical tape, and I wanna say that that's not part of the, the cable. I think that was added. But yeah, so we're gonna get that on there so that it works right. And... All right, <clears throat> looks like I got it pretty good. It's snapping back, it's sticking a little bit. But we have a throttle now going to the carb. We're getting there. Fuel lines hitched up. Got them all, got nice shiny clamps on them. The fan shroud back on, belt's somewhat tight. Uh, we're gonna put fuel in the tank. Got it up on jack stands right now. I'm gonna try to run it in gear. And uh, <coughs> a certain somebody came up with this contraption to hold down the front. It's pretty. Uh, Is there an issue? What? Is there an issue up here? No, no issue. <laughs> it's got like a life preserver on the front of it. Yeah, it's a bumper. It's we, like SS, we know my luck. SS Minnow or something. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah let's put some gas in that tank. Let's fire it up. That looks like it's gonna work well. Yeah, I'm good. Don't want that tie wrap holding the gas tank on. Yeah, we're good. You're confident. I am. Good half gallon in there. I believe this is 10 bucks to fill this little teeny thing? Yeah. Yeah. Give it a week. You will double your money. Give me 20. Maybe you should hold on to it. I can yeah. sell it. <laughs> that zip tie is pretty strong holding that gas tank in there. I think it needs to be hitched up. Yeah.
gas. <laughs> I think we found reverse.
like wear a Kamal? Cool factor. Um, Hold on a second, I'm doing it. It did. Sound like it. Do a rod or something? <laughs> Got oil on it? All right, so you need to check the oil. Get oil. oil on it. Unless it's just leftover oil. Got oil in. Why is it making that noise? Well, whatever it did, did. You fire it back up, make sure it's just like the, the bell housing not rattling. Feels like drive train. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Maybe it's uh, that shifter is kind of trying to put two in gear at the same time. I think that shifter is, is shit. Either that or the trans is like in reverse and forward at the same time kind of thing with that crappy shit. But I wouldn't think it would be making noise when you got the clutch in. So it's not that.
There you go. That's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna gun it. I wonder why Jeremy lost the war. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we ready? You had to make it die there with the pond. And yes, it's in four wheel drive. You're in four wheel? Yep. Five feet, one foot. The epic ride. Hey guys, so uh, we kind of died right here. We lost a part to the carburetor. Kind of a bummer. This is probably the last snow we're gonna get. We got a little bit of a rip around the field. Uh, I was a little disappointed. You can see our track there. Uh, I don't have a way to fix it at my house. I thought maybe I had a carburetor here, but I don't. But I, we're gonna do more with this. So I'm probably gonna put an off-road tire on the front uh, and make it the ultimate all-season trike and we're gonna do some mudding. I think that uh, that will be good. We do some, some off-roading with a three-wheeler, a big three-wheeler, like an adult three-wheeler. And uh, yeah, so I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks so much. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and uh, there'll be more on this, definitely. Uh, I can't wait, I'm excited. I'm really disappointed this happened. I, I really thought she was all ready to go, and then part of the carburetor got sucked in the intake. So thanks a lot, guys. Take care, we'll see you next time.